Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to look at a People's Republic of Romania TC-72 field phone. So sit back and here we go. Okay, and here we go. This is a Romanian TC-72 field phone. Um, I'm thinking from probably uh, developed in the late 60s, early 70s, manufactured, I don't know, possibly the 80s. Um, standard Bakelite case. Um, didn't come with carry straps. Uh, doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, that's the exit point. So you can hear the, the ringer. Um, the uh, card to write station information on. Um, I'll talk about these little buttons a little bit here in a little bit. It's, this is an interesting phone. Uh, front's got a clip right here where you could cook it. This phone works in both local and common battery. This is where you could hook the dialer at. Then the uh, cord for the dialer went inside there and connected to the binding post. Then on this side, you actually have a cutout right there where the handset can come out. So go ahead and we'll open it up. Now, like I said, Bakelite case. Um, inside the case, we have a schematic diagram, instructions in Romanian. Um, interesting phone. It uses uh, four D cell batteries. Go ahead and get the handset out of the way here to start. Batteries are contained in this little compartment right here that just pops out like this. I think that's pretty handy. Fit right in there and it just slides down in this spot right here. Um, I don't think this phone had a lot of use. It had some storage wear on it. It had, actually had some grease. I still got some more grease. I have to clean off the inside of it. But this is pretty much the inside. Uh, three binding post connections. These are for the field wire right here. This is for a ground. If you want to put a ground wire on it for any reason. Handset right here. Push to talk. Uh, handset's very similar to what uh, the TA57 and the TAP77 used. Uh, it may not be the exact body shape, but I'm sure that the uh, receiver and microphone elements are probably interchangeable in those two. Um, it just handset just pops right off right there. Pops right in. Go ahead, we'll go talk about stuff inside here. Inside here, you can't see it. There's a screw that's just a selector to use to change between local battery and common battery. I have it set in uh, local battery now. Now, these buttons are the interesting part. If you flip over like this, you'll see these spots like this. This spot right here was designed for the handset to fit on. Let's, let's put it the way it's supposed to be. And you laid the handset across like that. Now when you're in common battery mode, that's how the phone was hung up. That's what this is. It's a little hook switch like on your phone. You push it down, the phone's hung up. Lift it up, the phone's off hook. So that way when you had the dialer on it, you could make, uh, if you hung it up, or you go pick it up, you could dial. It also had this, this button right here. This button right here engages an amplifier that's inside the phone. Um, it's a little op amp amplifier. That's why it uses three D cell batteries. I just realized that now to get the bullets right. But basically all it does is it amplifies the incoming signal. So if you're getting weak signal, you push that button, it cuts any amplifier, increases the volume or the signal levels inside the, uh, the handset itself. does nothing to the microphone. Go ahead and open it back up and you can see where they, they fit at right there. That one is the cuts in the amplifier, and that's the actual hook switch one. There's also a hook switch right there, so when you have the phone open operating it, and then you're in common battery, and you hang the phone up like that, phone's hung up. Handset, like I said, push to talk right here. Uh, pretty much, uh, not really identical, but very similar to other Warsaw Pact and Eastern Pact countries at the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down right now. We'll go ahead and hook it up to a, another phone and make some phone calls. Okay, I got it hooked up to my trusty uh, TA312. We'll make some phone calls. First thing I'll do is I'll call the TC72 from the TA312. Here we go. Uh, it's discernible ring. It's not really real loud, but there's no way to adjust the volume in it. Okay, we'll go ahead and do an audio check. demonstrate the, uh, the uh, amplifier. There's no signal, but you can hear the, the background noise increase when I press it. Okay, now again, we'll hang it back up. Now we'll call from the uh, TC72 to the 312. Grab a little crank right here and good strong signal. I'm not going to do the audio checks again, um, but this is it. Um, this is, I ordered this from a actual surplus place. It's in Romania. Um, 
wasn't that bad. I think I might buy another one. It seems pretty rugged. I'm also going to be on the lookout to see if I can find the uh, the dial unit for it. That'd be sort of interesting to, to mess with. Like I said, it should work with all the current phone, field phones that exist. If it works with the 312, it should work with pretty much everything else, either on the Western NATO side or on the Eastern Warsaw Pack side. And uh, that's it. So this is the uh, TC72. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning something. Thanks for watching.